Today I had a brilliant idea. I want to make an installation out of letters from a Nesquik alphabet serial here in the bowl. Then we'll put an epoxy resin all over it. I think it will look pretty cool, like someone made a word in a bowl while deeply thinking about something. But first, let's go to the kitchen to take some references. For the beginning, I think I will sort out the letters I need, because I don't know, maybe there is only one of each. If we will accidentally eat one of the letters we need, it won't be good. I maybe want to do a phrase for what? Now we need to understand what a level of milk should be, and generally how does it look, to then recreate it. Something like this, it's like there is only a little left and he is slowly mixing. Later we need to measure its volume, to then count the right amount of epoxy resin. A bit much. Yeah, something like this. Done. Let's go to the room to find out the material we will fill up the space to use less amount of epoxy resin. Also, I'm waiting for scales to be delivered. It should be here today in about two hours. We finished all the tests and now we can actually start working on the piece. In the beginning we need to make a platform on which a composition will be leaning. Now I will make a cardboard circle, then I will just stick a spoon on it and finish it all with the sealant. It's time for a glue. Now we're waiting for a sealant to dry. We'll make a composition later when the scales will arrive. So now we just wait. Alright, so the scales were delivered and it's time to prepare our resin. In the beginning we'll make a composition and then we'll just push a ball away to not mess up anything. And then we'll mix up our resin. Here we have the letters for a word for what.
Our composition is ready. Here is the main phrase for what? And on the sides there is like an island. We are putting it away and starting to work with our resin. Firstly, we will mix one component with a white dye for me to have more time to mix it properly. And only after that we will put in an activator. Okay, I think the mixture is ready. We need to correct our composition before it's too late. Epoxy resin is liquid right now and it looks just amazing, just like a real milk. I hope nothing will happen to it. The fact that I made a layer too thin can cause some damage. Lots of different factors can cause a problem. So I really hope it will be okay. I will show you the final result when it will be dry. That's all for now. It's time to wait. So, everything is dry. It looks something like this. So now we want to put varnish on it, because we have an unprotected open places with the cereal. That means that now you can't clean it with a wet towel, or a lettuce will just break. So that's why I want to protect it and put a varnish on it. Let's do this. I finished with the varnish. I couldn't make an absolutely flat surface. That's why I will just polish it later, to make it shiny and perfect. I could have fixed this problem with another layer of varnish, but this varnish is a bit yellow, so that's why I choose to polish it. So the varnish is dry and we can start to polish it. I will try, I don't know how well will it work. Let's go. So, it's time for the final result. 